Oh, hey everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today along with... ASM First Mate Drakir at your service. And welcome back to Known Lives Forever 2, A Spy in Harm's Way, which this is the third stream about, I believe. We had the first one, which was part of, well, <laughs> the second half of the Rayman stream. And yeah, then the separate one and then this one. Okay, three. Yeah, no, we should probably do a little announcement about the second part. Uh, yeah, that what we want to. Uh, yeah, yeah, we we need to. <laughs> the previous one, we need to uh, post commentate, which we'll try to get done this week. I hope uh, tomorrow won't be. We won't be able to, since well, I'll be between night shifts, which is always a bitch. Ooh. Yeah. For the, for those that didn't see last time we streamed this. We noticed thanks to one viewer at the very end commenting that they could not hear Helian. Yeah, because OBS decided to reset one value and one value alone, and that was the bloody microphone input. Yeah. Ugh. So if anyone watching on Twitch that episode, yeah, now you know why you can only hear me, possibly. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, we'll need to find a moment to co-commentate that. It might, uh, it'll probably have to fit in before, uh, over one of the times we would be watching a show together. But yeah. <clears throat> also, I said I tried to find new art for the backgrounds and such uh, in this week, but uh, that sadly hasn't worked. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to find. Uh, two different pieces, one for the background here and one for the background during the outro and such. Uh, but well, with randomly generated art, it's a bit hard to find pieces that sort of match. Maybe I'll just f try to find one that match uh, fits in with both instead. That would probably be a good idea. For now though, let's continue on with the game. In chapter 4... Where's Mikhail? Filing duty in main records building. Why? What did he do? Zukov caught him with an American magazine. Pornography? Worse, investment planning. I never would have figured Mikhail for a capitalist swine. He said he was using it for toilet paper because they've been out for three weeks and he didn't want to soil a patriotic literature. And Zukov still punished him? If you ask me, he just wanted the magazine. He couldn't confiscate it if he didn't punish Mikhail. Now that you mention it, Zukov is getting close to retirement. Really? They've been what? out of toilet paper for three weeks? Hmm. Keep your eyes open. Look out! I've closed their eyes for them. Give yourself up! Never! Full on armor, and I can hear one around the corner about. Yeah, no corner. <laughs> Probably a bad idea to do this. Also, I like that they've put more detail into Kate's in game um, models with this as well, of course. Less red tape? Wait, is, did one of them fall asleep or something? I can hear snoring or something. Sound the alarm. Very mad. Okay. Well done, Helian. Isn't there supposed? Wasn't there supposed to be another body here? But don't look at me. I didn't eat him. I had heard something about that enemies uh, can have b corpse remover of their, their own. Um, and they were talking about less red tape, so I, I guess they just dissolved one of their comrades as corpses. Um, I saw something curious. Okay, give me a moment. Uh, what did you see then? Uh, something about the vending machine you walked past. Was it CCCP Cola again? Yes, it was. <laughs> Wait, CBC, CCCP. You are a Bloody heck, that's. A... Show yourself! That's... See? What's wrong? Body remover. <laughs> I'm not filling out the paperwork. <laughs> what happened? 
<laughs> They're doing cleanup duty for us. I hear a spy. That's the first. Uh, it, it, the closest thing I've seen to that is when some creature eats the, the corpses. But I, like in Giant Sins Kabuto? Come on. Yeah, that's an example. I think this has happened in other games, but. A random soldier dissolving his own comrade? Um, yeah, that's oh. a new one. Oh. Damn it, there must be multiple... There must be multiple alarms around here, which makes sense. Because I yep. think they keep sending... sending. I don't think that is the only alarm uh, button behind us. Most likely not. And also, just to... Gloat? Mm -hmm. I made cheeseburger into tilia bread again. <laughs> so that, I, think then it's considered a, then, I think then it's considered a, a wrap. It, Body oh, come word. on! <laughs> you make Great. pounds on my poo? I see iron. <laughs> Before you even think about pouring sugar in this fuel tank so your little sweetie can get past the electrified fence, remind yourself of what befell Sergeant uh, Putkin, who, who's, who's unconsciously lady friend, who unconscious, unconscious, uncons, un, conscientious lady friend Anya offered a tearful confession to me the morning after he sabotaged the generator to sneak in her into the compound. Remind yourself of the worms gnawing the skin from his cowardly, unpatriotic bones. You are being watched. So, okay, we need to go find Sugar then. Yeah, uh, Crazy Ivan. I feel like I heard that name name before. Crazy Ivan. It's it's one that uh, it's often uh, it's generally pretty often used. Yeah, and you walk past our gift. Yeah, we 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 tried to pick that up. You know, I tried to pick that up in a bit. You know. You're a brave man. It's uh, more body remover. Uh, our, our enemies are dealing with that for ourselves. Yeah, we probably should use it as well to. I, I find it interesting that they they prioritize uh, removing the bodies over sounding the alarm. Damn it! How many times has this thing been set off now? I can smell your decadence. What's wrong? Let's just continue searching. Yep. Okay, I did not know. I know <laughs> didn't notice the transfer part um, bit until we already crossed the threshold. There's a camera somewhere here. It's a spy! Uh, Die, you decadent pig! Rude! Get Show yourself. I get the feeling we're going to be having this happen a lot. Give yourself up. Yeah, what yeah. is setting off this? I think mean, you should, uh, whenever you're new so wait and listen before you open a door. And... Fuck it. It's already alarmed anyways. Sound the alarm. Where are you? No, you're fucking not going to. Sniper in the tower. Oh, oh, smart ass, he actually locked the thing. A sniper in that tower as well. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't think we're going to get too much <laughs> to do much stealth in this game with how things keep happening like this. Yeah. yeah you, you feel more like a commando than a spy at the moment. Oh, am I wrong? Mm, no. Oh, that camera.
and those two just don't got care at all. Are you trying to sneak around or something? Yep, yep. The electric bike, yep. Forgot about that. Okay, were you smart enough to seal this off? Yep, you were. And finally some quiet. It's a spy. No! It's a pirate! Here we go, that's one sniper dealt with. And the other got fucking lucky. But not lucky enough. Oh, hello. I think, I think you just hit him right in the star. Well, so much for Mother Russia protecting him. Okay, let's get ourselves some ammo back. Uh, I think I might upgrade the search ability just a bit so we can get a move on through stuff like that quicker. Let's see. We, I'm, okay, we have... It's 35, uh, 3,500. Uh, yeah, let's put some of that in here. And keep safe. Actually, we could have upgraded... <clears throat> we could have upgraded our marksmanship with that, but we're only 500... 500-ish points away from that anyways. Ah. Sugar. Um... <coughs> there we go. Look away the sugar. Until further notice, the sugar will be kept on the lock and key to prevent the repeat of last Saturday's generator sabotage. To request sugar, file a precision form with your commanding officer. <laughs> because of that. What? Oh, hello. Uh this will make for a good distraction. Oh, now we have enough. <laughs> On this spot. Sorry, there we go. That's one loose end gone. There we go. A, a thousand percent accuracy. Now, how much would that cost? Four thousand. Okay, yeah, now it just barely fades whilst we're moving. Okay. Let's grab some stuff, because we are low on ammo now. Let's see, 32. Full metal, ja yeah, full metal jacket. And let's just search the rest here. Anything else of use, or shall we just head back down to the generator? And no one hiding in there. Ooh, hello. Hello. Uh, if it's locked, it usually has something of interest. But we've had ha we have had the a bunch of locked boxes that had absolutely nothing in them last time. But this time, phosphorus rounds. Okay. Can't be. What's wrong? You are a brave man. Don't make me hunt you down. Uh, you don't have to when I'm hunting you. Are you all right? I, I guess one strategy you could have with this game is to just lay corpses out and <laughs> wait for them to show up. Or you could just pile all the bodies inside the same house and who stores a bear trap inside their own locker? Uh, whoever's in charge of keeping out the pests or something. <laughs> and again, bears are a bit ba big to be considered pests. Let's see. My fellow conspirators, the hour of revolution draws near. I have made the necessary preparations. In less than a week, we three shall ha have shrugged off the chains of tyranny and set an example for all Russians who hunger for liberation as we do. Olag Doroviv. Okay. 
What are those guys planning then? And there's a good chance we shot them already. That uh, all allies to be found. And since you got bonus quest from it. Yeah, we'll, we'll find more on that. First off, let's open up all of these. They just left their guns next and on the bed. I'm pretty Don't... sure that's a regulation break or something. Yeah, then again, if it only has five bullets in it. <laughs> My brothers in conspiracy, the revolution is indeed almost upon us. I can f almost feel the sweet wind of w freedom on my skin. The waiting is a prison. I feel caged, anxious, trapped in this miserable uniform and all it represents. Sergei Romanov. Okay. But what are these three planning then? Or three, however many there are. I think it'll be a good idea to upgrade how quickly we can use our tools with this as well. Just to speed things up a bit. Oh yeah, I don't think we need to max upgrade our aim yet. Uh, no, look, I don't think we might need to, uh, to upgrade it any further unless we have points to spare somehow. Grenades, okay. Uh, did I hear someone else? You weren't searched because you still have your gun. What's wrong? I see you. You ask for it. Kiss yourself goodbye. Where are they coming from? The cameras are broken. And there shouldn't be anyone around to sound the alarm. That, Hina, have you just answered your own question? The, the, the cameras are out, so they can't be... <laughs> oh, this place is still under alarm. That's why they are shaky. They're wondering what broke the camera and what happened to the others that were sent to repair the camera. Slippery capitalists. Now I've got you. It Oh, hello, training manual. Okay, someone went from cocksure to depressed all of a sudden. For the moment, let's stick to the silenced weapons. Uh, here's another point where they could sound the alarm. Let's see, requisition form J9, uh, toilet paper, one roll. The reason for a request, inadequate supply, preferred delivery location, Petrograd, the, the no signed delivery, and I suspect my answer will not affect the time of delivery. Why was Miami Beach there? Okay, where are you hiding? Or are you running for an alarm button? Yes, he was. Hey, safe. Hey, you, show yourself. Where are you? Sorry, comrade, but there's less red tape. Okay, that's another two gone. At, at least the game is being generous with the ammo we are getting. Don't make me hunt you down. The novel My Uncle yeah. Vanya? Anton Chekhov? I. Wait, this wasn't Anton Chekhov someone with. Uh, and Anton Chekhov sounds familiar to me. The really toenail clippings? Why were you carrying those around? That's a one-way exit. Why not? Yeah, because you'd throw them in the trash. Oh. Uh, the disciplinary act. It clippings, not clippers. Oh. And intoxication on duty. Number of personnel to be uh, disciplined. Five. To, five to ten. 
Impressive punishment, death by firing squad. Okay, just for being drunk on the job, of course. Okay. That's the only one that opens. Human resources from Lieutenant Petrakov. Due to the issuance of Addendum G9 of the Disciplinary Action Form, which offers two new voluntary punitive alternatives to filing duty, uh, specifically death by firing squad and death by asphyxiation, please prepare for an increase in firing squad and asphyxiation, asphyxiation requests. Uh, Dear... It's almost as if those in power enjoy just murdering the people below them. Hint, hint. Uh, uh, that is concerning. No smoking is permitted in this area. Violators will be shot. Can any of these? Nope, but there's yet more Soviets to shoot. <laughs> Give yourself up! The annoyance is for each one we shoot, another one likely hears it and runs for the alarm. Yeah, we, we should probably... Case in point! Maybe we should start throwing uh, liquids on them to make them poof. Uh, maybe, yeah, let's see anything here. No, no, and no. There we go. Give him a spinal correction. Oh, go on. <laughs> Let's see. I think we might have cleared out the place now, hopefully, unless more just start spawning. So who's in charge of the... Uh, that's this way. Who's in charge of the organization here with all of these filing cabinets in random locations? Good question. Sounding no, you freaking don't. Oh, a deck of cards. Uh, okay, you can play some patience with that. Uh, with that on the way back. Let's see. Oh. Lieutenant Pump, uh, uh, Pupkin, uh, Pupkin, uh, I found this strange package while on patrol near the southern wall. Its shiny and uh, attractive wrapping leads me to suspect an elaborate capitalist plot. I will rely on your wise judgment to decide what to do with it. So you just bring it inside. Agent Archer, I hope this package reaches you safely. I had to send it by rather unconventional means. Enclosed, you will find a C uh, <coughs> CT-180 Utility launcher with camera disabler ammunition. These devious devices attached to a security camera capture images from its viewpoint and project the dummy images into the camera lens. Anyone monitoring the security system will believe he or she is witnessing live footage. Santa. Okay. So yeah, we were we were likely supposed to find that earlier, but well, they found it first. Projection form R27. The request for toilet paper per requisition form J9 has been denied. <laughs> Delivery priority was not specified. Uh. Oh dear. Okay. Ooh. Okay, didn't notice we could get up here. Now it's just another way up here. Okay, they... Sorry, comrade, but there's less red tape this way. Where are you? I guess they are doing that to reduce the amount of bodies on the map. Uh, that as well, yeah. I'm, I'm guessing this means that there are more wandering in from adjacent areas. Or at least that's probably the excuse used for spawning them. Okay. 
Okay. Also, I, I guess, and also, it's a case of uh, they know that you can't have infinite uh, body removal. Don't make me hunt you down. Here we go. That's the sap. Yeah, that's that dealt with. Uh, did we check here? Yes, we did. It's just a hiding spot. Okay. Now we deal with this jackass. Or we can dodge him entirely, perhaps. <laughs> I'd really be more concerned about raising the alarm if I found a lot of people dead. I don't need to escape if I can just gun you down. Uh, which way? Not this way. Uh, let's see. Nope, not here. We could also intentionally sound the alarm if we wanted to, but there's no real reason to. <laughs> unless we were, like, completely well, low on ammunition, but then we would, well, be risking getting hurt. Where the hell did we... Yeah, this way? Rather, rather risky. Okay, now we should be getting... Yeah, now we should be able to get into the next area here. Hmm. Right, checking the boost misses down here, and uh, yeah, our voices are working. Yeah. Okay. And immediately, let's see, uh, gadgets. Yeah, I'll break that so they work a bit faster. Let's see, communications tower. Oh, hello. You're another soldier, so I'm going to show you some mercy. Siesta? What? <laughs> Attention all personnel as a reward for the last you know, month's 2% drop in the accidental and semi-accidental mortality rate at this facility. All soldiers are to, be, you know, are to receive a bonus serving of cabbage soup every night this week. Keep up with the good work and soon you'll have all the cabbage soup you can eat. General Zukov. And to repeat that, as I completely miss every shot. Um. More of Olga's tickets. Damn it. Yeah, you have the device to shoot those damn things with. Yeah, but I didn't notice it until it was already checking, and then I was running for, well, <laughs> trying to be out of sight of it. Okay, I see, saw a bit of a hat move there. Yep. Uh, it. Okay, one of them is checking near there. Wait for me. Okay. And the camera with the yep. whole special device. Let's see. Is... Oh, that's the <laughs> that's the operator that was waking up. Okay, uh, F, camera disabler. Okay, let's see how this goes. Did that. I can't say if that hit or not. I don't think you did. I think you want to shoot it when it looks away. Okay. It, I thought it would put something on it, but no, just to... It just... Okay, it does put something on. Okay, they, they downsized those a lot. 
Yeah, oh yeah. Now remember, the, the first ones you did meet in the first game were prototypes. True. Or Mark 1, so what you call them in, this, in that case. So I guess this is a newer, more practical model? Yeah, uh, yeah, probably. Uh, let's see. I just have to sneak, ar <clears throat> sneak around then. You know, as sneaky as one can be with a loaded AK-47. Yeah, there we go. And that guard tower faces outwards. Okay. <laughs> Making progress. Loud, shooty, bang, bang progress. But still progress. Now he's asleep, so let's try and keep it that way. Oh, hello. Okay, more camera disablers. Those will probably be a lot more useful in here. Habit stew. Uh, the reward is that for... He was filing documents down the hall. He's not there now. Maybe he's in the restroom. I already checked. Smoking a cigarette? I searched everywhere. He's just gone. He could have gone back to the barracks. In the middle of a shift? He's on duty for another 11 hours. How could he just vanish? Boris vanished last month. Boris went AWOL, he must have. Without taking his coat or his hat? This is the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. People don't just vanish without a trace. Tell that to Mikhail. And Boris. Okay, so... Is the KGB active here or something? Also nice that they just have it sounding down the uh, dumbwaiter. Let's see, is there a platform? Yeah, I really like that. And... Uh, uh, me, I don't know if this general here is obsessed with cabbage soup or stew or whatever it was. Or just, just torturing the them. Yeah, if you like... Like, would you really say just... 2% decrease of accident with that, it, it sounds like more like a punishment almost. Yeah. Uh, let's see, there's a security camp. Okay, kitchen, which is where we are. The alarm is right next to us. Then we have some storage spaces, the boiler room, office with another alarm. And there's a chute to be added to the laundry room. Okay. Oh. That's a lot of C's. Okay, I was about to shoot him there. Oh, I think dear. he woke up from us opening the door. No shit, Sherlock. Yeah, I probably should have just shot him. But at least we'll be getting plenty of ammo now. Anything we can open here? No. Let's see here. Now might be good to do the body remover. Yeah, it's not the bodies which set off the alarm. It's just them running for the alarms every time we they spot us. Yeah, but now they're gonna do it when they spot the bodies as well. Yeah, that, they they prioritize removing them over setting off the alarm. All right. So if we start hearing word about sorry comrade, we know that they found the bodies. And that we will have some time before they get to uh, removing those. There we go. Computer vacuum tube. Okay. 
Yeah, so why is the alarm still going? Agent Archer, should you run into a General Nikolai Zukov, consider him a target of opportunity. Uh, former NKVD, he was involved in the relocation of the Chechen people to Central Asia in 44. Linked to various crimes against humanity, including a particular grisly mass murder. We want him liquidated. Santa. He, he, they managed to smuggle this in on their own, <laughs> on their paperwork. Okay. So, likely the only one wearing a uniform around here. Let's see. Place explodes at the outer gate. Must have missed that. Oh, that hurt. Come with me. Wait, where did, where did he vanish to? Did he... Oh, he must have run through here instead. I thought I thought he was running over here. Okay. Wait. Did you Sleeping. kill a body in front of one of the cameras? Yeah, it's disabled. Yeah, that's one camera. It is, there was only one marked here. Wait, why is it? Oh, all access security cards. Okay. Ooh. I'm not filling out the paperwork. Show yourself. Hey, you, get up. Give yourself up. Go. So yeah, it is useful to search the bodies, or at least the bodies of the people that were actually already in the map. I saw somebody there. Hello. We kitty. We could plant that next to one of the bodies, but that would be a war crime. And again, a lot of the things we're doing is probably considered a war crime already. Slightly. Body remover, easy way down, since there's, well, already a, <laughs> a mattress down there. My imagination. Yeah, let's try to be stealthy. And what are you searching through? Let's see. The empty mouse trap, really. Well, that, that can actually make sense. But I think I heard, heard uh, issues with uh, rats in various military places around the world around these eras and earlier having rat problems with rats, rats and mice just eating going documents. Through, yeah, basically eating documents and we use them as nests. Okay, we need a password for this. Okay, that's what we needed that vacuum tube for. Ooh. Wait, is that... Is that Zukov? He seemed to be wearing a different hat. Would it be that really that easy to find him? Different voice. Transferred from Novgorod to work on Project Omega. I've heard of that. What is it anyway? I'm not sure. Nobody told me anything about it. Still... Now you're in trouble. <laughs> Please. Well, he found us. <laughs> Interrupted us from hearing information. Yeah. Who's typing? 
It was just gunfire. Uh, let's see. Da -da -da. Boss, boss, office, security, camera, security, camera. Let's see, where are we then? Uh, everything is offices. Let's see. I think this place might be haunted. <laughs> By your secretary. Yep. Now we're red mitten. Yeah, I don't think I heard of a horror story about a vengeful secretary yet. <laughs> it's actually kind of weird <laughs> when you think about it. Die, you Okay. You've made me very mad. Okay, quickly, just in case. Okay, there's at least one remaining. I know you're there. The Hello? Combat, do not be fooled by this machine. While filing yesterday, I found evidence of an elaborate conspiracy to trick honest Soviet citizens out of their precious rubles. These vending machines don't actually contain any CCC uh, P uh, soda. They're just, they just hollow cases with a large tray for collecting coins and a small speaker that plays mechanical noises. Trust no one, Mikhail. Is that why he's missing? Uh, Amy? There we go. Okay, that is going faster. I think. Yeah, it's going a bit faster. It is just the first grade, so... Yeah. Or a bit early on, rather. How much points do we have? Uh, okay, 800. Uh, yeah, we'll see where the next points will go. For now, yeah, we've dealt with the terror of this base. Ammo. No smoking doors! I was thinking Pocket you could knife. just shoot the cigarette, but I guess that works too. Okay, I think I can hear two cameras. And we have two rounds of this. There we go. Spearmint mint, breast mints, okay. <laughs> Nothing in there. Hmm. Oh no, I just remember when someone uh, typed uh, 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 that kind of mint. No. They actually this root spur mint. <laughs> okay, security door. Hello. Oh, there we go. Hello. Really? <laughs> hey, I, I consider that a good find. You never know when you may need it. Bathrooms. Mm -hmm. There we go. I don't I think we'll have much use for that. We probably should start to upgrade our health so we can... Well, have more health and carry more armor. 
Uh, I think those are actually separate here. We've already... I think it's on the stamina. Uh, health, endurance... No, that's all. Armor, here it is. Oh, all right. Yeah, it's, it does seem that it is a lot easier to find armor than it is to build, find head kills, head, health kits. Ooh. To General Zukov hey. from <laughs> Vladimir Khrushchev. Khrushchev, whatever. I hope you are sitting down, comrade. Last night I got word from Anatoly, our man in Palm Beach. He's the farm boy we sent from Kam, uh, Kamchatka to infiltrate the highest level of the Pentagon, uh, which he has done very rapidly considering his poor grasp of the English language. As we feared, the main adversary has big plans for Nikios. See, please see the attached reports. Okay. So there's a spy in the Pentagon. M9 security codes. That's probably for the machine we found earlier. Computer more. Wait, what is an a what's a utility launch doing here? That's supposed to be Unity gear. Then again, uh, Mr. Jones probably leaked a bunch of stuff out to well harm, and they probably distributed it to their allies. Well, maybe one of our own guys hid it here. Maybe. It's U.S. plans for Kios Part 1. As we all know, the U.S. has been developing a project to covertly launch a nuclear first strike against the Soviet Union by attaching warheads to tiger sharks and sending them up the deep near river to Moscow from the Black Sea. They have even created special apparatus for the shark that let them survive in fresh in the water. Now, Anatoly reports that this project has been put on hold to prepare for <laughs> the American invasion of Kios. Really? <laughs> That sounds too stupid even for... Yeah, that's not even part of an objective. That's just... <laughs> I think Anatoly might be bullshitting them. I would not be surprised. And I would not be surprised if there are... Fake documents for spies to take. I think that was a strategy at one point. During the Cold War. I I know at the very least it was used during uh during the later years of World War II, which was actually one of, part of the preparation for uh, D-Day. They they actually dropped a, a corpse with uh, f fake documents uh, into the sea, let it wash ashore, and well, it was eventually found its way up to a uh, Nazi high command, and well, they took it hook, line, and sinker. Oh dear. Okay, that's a map of this area. It's only one, uh, one camera and one alarm point. Hello. Oh dear. Let's see here. And I think we've gone full circle. Yes, we have. Okay, then. Uh, there is one area here we haven't touched yet. No, please. <laughs> At least they're not running for the alarms. Please. There we go. Disabled. Really, donuts. Actually, half stale, half eaten donut. What? Let's see, sir. Okay, increases the likelihood of finding useful items, not the likelihood of finding intel. Repair request form 19A. Repairs requested. Patch hole in women's restroom. Reason for request. The glories of our fine Russian women have distracted hard-working men from their duties. Approved by Sergeant Igor. Uh, bunch of pervs. It's, each and every one of these is opens, but I'm guessing there's only one useful bit. Yep, paper clips. Weren't they, didn't they say they were out of paper clips? 
aspirin. I guess that would be useful in cases and army rules of conduct. Conduct. Oh, come on, that's sealed. Okay, let's go find that computer again. I think it was upstairs around... Uh, was it here? No, that's the sealed door. It was somewhere around here. Hmm. Hmm. I presume that code we found is for the computer. Too far away. Yeah, hmm. let's see here. Uh. Hmm. Where can it be? Not here. There. I didn't realize the typewriting has stopped. I guess we shot the ghost. <laughs> yeah, and still again, it's probably weird we haven't seen a horror story or horror movie, at least I haven't heard of any, about a vengeful secretary since. Let's be honest, it kinda really makes sense for there to be one. Please. Well, there was the librarian in Ghostbusters. Yeah. That's a clo close, but let's be honest, secretaries don't have it easy. Yeah. Where is this bloody... I get the feeling I've run straight past it already or something. Laundry room. That one don't open. Kitchen. You got Daily lost. Hole. I'm trying to find that bloody computer room. It, it's... I, I, I kind of like that the uh, things you shoot at the cameras stays on permanently. They're not temporary, they stay on. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I, I, I think I've said it already, but I don't like that knocking enemies out now is a temporary thing. Before they were, they stayed down unless they were woken up by someone. But now it, them, that being temporary makes it a lot tougher to get through an area stealthily. Yeah, the way it kind of really leaks is when you knock someone out like that, they usually are knocked out realistically only for a short time. If they're not out for a certain amount of time, they may need the medical help. Yeah. Where is, uh, is it? I've, I, I forgot the uh, amount of time. Huh? What? I think it's over here. Yeah, this is it. That, that was... Okay, I think this is one of the bulkheads we found earlier. Okay, that's just that's just the way to get to the bloody central archive. That okay, he just went for a nap. Uh Great idea, but you don't have Paladin for Mason names. Okay, could it be behind you, so sorry. Nope. Well, he died literally for nothing then. It, what is a Dear John letter? Maybe like I should know, but... I think there was a time when many movies started with Dear John with a letter or something. More tickets. I've got you. Ah! 
Okay, music is back to normal. Yeah, th that is something I, again, do like about this game and the previous, that the music changes depending on the state of things. Like, if you are in combat, if you are not, if they are looking for you. Yeah, can I give you an idea what is going on? Hmm. Last door. Okay, 689. Bit more ammo. Uh, That's where we went. Let's try random. See what this gives us. I hope this doesn't screw us out, uh, over. Because it has been a bit since we saved. Oh. Okay. Uh, the, the Tuft Puffin gets his name from the conspicuous pale yellow plume that sprouts from behind the bird's eyes. The eyes themselves are an extraordinary yellow color with its... <laughs> okay. Hey, that was interesting. Okay, wait for this to reset. And I'm gonna go and grab a drink, so... Don't die. I get the feeling if we were to keep entering things randomly, we would get different things the entire time. But for now, let's just get the Project Omega stuff we need, and then we'll enter randomly once more. Just for a chance of getting something on Anatoly. Let's see. To Director of Harm from General Nikolai Zukov, regarding this so-called Project Omega of yours, we need to clarify a few matters before we submit a letter of intent. First, we are looking for a solution that not only makes it feasible for us to annex uh, Kios, but also to defend it from uh, to defend it once we achieve our ultimate objective: to build the first <laughs> world's first five-star communist hotel and casino on the northern end of the island. Can Project Omega meet this need? Really? <laughs> What? So, what? Wait, something else is being right here. Uh, yep. Communist hotel what? and casino, what? <laughs> what do you even care for that? Nope. Nope. Wait, that set off the alarm? Where did someone get. Oh. Oh. Really? That's Harm's new outfit? I thought it was... Oh, the other door opened there. Warden SMG. New weapon, finally. And we can't retrieve any more data, sadly. Oh. All right, then. Hello. Hello. No one here. Only ghost. Uh, yeah, now that was the. Now you're in trouble. I see you. You don't get away. Sound the alarm. Are you all right? You made me very mad. <laughs> well, he's. <laughs> stupid jumpsuits. And it looks like we. I get the feeling for these sub-objectives, or optional objectives, that where we need to find intel, that we can only find it in the area where we first find a bit of it. Uh, which is why we haven't found any more on that conspiracy. Um, but I think we've searched every bit. Hmm. Or is it it's something... I'll just take your ammo. Still locked. Okay, I was. I thought it would be open now. Uh, but yeah, I guess that means we either missed something that we could pick up in this area and the previous one. Maybe. Hmm. Or maybe it's on someone or something. 
have, I have, I have no idea. I, th I think I've searched this place thoroughly enough to have found it, unless it's just lying underneath something. Okay, locked down. Okay, so that's where the chute is in the laundry room. That we so we can get out that way. Um, I still want to look around a bit more because in <laughs> intel on a spy in the Pentagon that is something pretty big to go for. Don't tell me it was right here. Nope. Request for uh, the request for repair to Raymond's bathroom in new records facility is denied. Really? Hmm. Really? Yep. They won't repair it? Probably because the general was making use of it himself. Hmm. Okay. This was also a bit annoying in the previous game, which just... I think we've killed everyone again, hopefully for real this time. And that's... Yeah, sometimes the uh, intel could be hidden away in quite stupid areas. And then again, I haven't been looking through these as much. Oh, plans for kills. The goals of the main adversary are clear. Conquer Kios militarily, perform highly immoral scientific experiments on the civilian populace, and replace the island schools and hospitals with fast food restaurants and resort hotels, all in an effort to exploit the precious natural resources of Kios. Wait. That's what they think, or that is what Anatoly says they are to do. And yeah, I, I think Anatoly is blowing it out of his ass. Yeah. No, no, no. If he, I see what they mimic. Oh wait, no. Tatsuya was for someone else. But yeah, they. they uh... That was that is their their own objective. Yeah, I, I forgot that for a moment. Suspect for a, a cap for a communist party. Yeah. What the heck? The only way it could be. Uh, the only way it could be a communist casino is if it's rigged so that they always win. 100% uh, of the time. Like, I know that casinos and such are already rigged. Uh, but at least there is still a minute chance of success. In a, in a, cap, in a communist casino, I'm pretty sure it would just be uh, your money is our money. <laughs> Oh dear. Where is this damned piece of intel? Still no need of bandages. We, we haven't run low on... We haven't run out of armor at any point so far. Hmm. Most of probably for you being able to... Uh... Mow down your foes before they really hit you. True, or, well, do too much damage at least, and there's plenty of armor around. Okay, seriously, where is this extra info on Anatoly? Though, from what it, it looks like, whatever intel they do have from the Pentagon, if it is even actually from the Pentagon, it's just a lot of bullshit. Hmm. Okay, well, let's hope it is downstairs. Actually, no, it's in the different area, so it's like... Okay, just end the level there. <laughs> now that Kate has recovered information on Project Omega, she faces the even greater challenge of getting it out of the Soviet Union. To complicate matters further, both the Russians and Harm are hunting for her. She'll have to cross her fingers and hope that her meticulous preparations pay off. The night is about to light up. And... We forgot to plant explosives at the gate, so I guess it would. It would it, if that is actually going to have an effect, that would be really cool. This is to have consequences in later levels. Yeah, and I'm curious. Let's see, night flight. She may try to come this way. Stay alert. Hmm. 
Let's actually try this thing out. Okay, looks like an improved stand gun. Wait, is it? They fixed that thing. Stun grenades. Armor. Let's stick with the AK for the moment, since we have more ammo for that. I think I missed something there. Armor. Armor. Tap. Oh, yep, yeah, thank you. Yeah, but also some all the objects on one of the shelves. Yugoslavian cigarettes. No longer a country, if I remember right? I uh, think so. Siberia cards? Here we go. Wedge of moldy cheese, really. Attention, a female capitalist spy has been seen in the area. Those responsible for her capture will receive extra portions of cabbage soup. Those not responsible for her capture will be given latrine duty. I was almost about to say, it, it's, it sounds like it's a reward not to find her. Uh, let's see, we actually got some more points. Uh... Damage you do. Let, let's actually upgrade everything to amateur level. There we go. More armor and more damage. Yeah, it's probably a good idea early on since we, we don't know how long the game is, actually. Yeah. And I, I kind of doubt we'll be able to upgrade it everything to this playthrough. <laughs> that magazine again. Oh dear. Yep, not that. Uh, let's uh, I'm mission. gonna probably at this point investigate the term comrade. It's a. Sp it's a what? I can't hear you. Ooh, the sound of a gunfire. Hey, <laughs> I, I have to say, I don't really like the new outfits. <laughs> they're just... They're just stupid in every single way. Like, I, I like purple, but that's just a stupid outfit. <laughs> yeah, like... like it's, it's, it, that looks more like a, a thing you wear for... Maybe maintain or something, but not on a mission. It looks like they're trying to pretend to be aliens or something. Any th Nothing new here, I presume. Yep. Hmm. Let's see. We got us a spy on the loose. CIA? Heck if I know, can't get straight answers out of anybody around here. Okay, that's more harm. Okay, might have been a bit too cruel just shooting in between your legs there. Let's see. Nothing new oh. here. I think I know why they dress up like that. Oh? There was, if I remember time, in some uh, spy movies of thought where the henchmen did have ridiculous uh, henchmen uniforms. Yeah. The thing was mostly in cartoons. Get on the crate. They fixed that camera as well. <laughs> okay, drawing. Here we go. 
go. Hmm. Yeah, a bit sad that we weren't able to finish those uh, side objectives. But I, I'm pretty sure we did look most everywhere. Damn it. Okay, let's just run. Come on. Something in the gobbers camp, perhaps? I, I think at this point we're not going to find much of any side objectives. Who got the... Oh, that's the explosive in the tank. There we go. And that put a hole in the wall. Okay, bye bye. Nice. Bye bye. And we're not done yet, though. Wait, hold on. Look behind you. What? Yeah, it, it got launched through this, <laughs> this hall of concrete. That, that's a big boom, then. Nope, that must be the explosive. Are there explosives that we planted somewhere around here? That's drawing their attention quite well. <laughs> the over-exaggerated rolling downstairs. And yeah, this is where we could have planted on the front gate. Do we still have enough explosives? No, we don't. Okay, then we'll have to do a quick search for those. <laughs> Unless we just go around. <laughs> that also works. Holy. Or do we need to blow them up? Yeah, I think we need to blow them up, otherwise we can't get a snow booboo out of here. Dang it. I very much doubt we're going to find explosives on some random guy. This is probably still locked. No, it's just plain as gone. Against the garbage cans. For let's be honest, the, these soldiers here don't seem rather that clever. Competent. <laughs> yeah, competent. I think I saw an ammo box there. Stun grenade. And ammo box. More phosphorus rounds. Let's actually swap to those. <laughs> be extra mean, you out in the cold. <laughs> And well, we've oh. already committed enough war crimes. What's one more? Oh dear. It reminds me, I actually learned that uh, something about the Clone Wars oh. series. Apparently, Uber One and Anakin have been doing a, a crime against the Geneva Convention repeatedly. Yeah. Then again, it is supposed to take place a long, long time ago, before the Geneva Convention was even a thing. Uh, no, no, they have their own Geneva Convention thing. I forgot what it's called, but it's over 1,000 years old and many have forgotten it. Okay. However, it is also part of the Geneva Convention. It's uh, falsely, uh, you, like, you're not allowed to falsely surrender. Yeah. And we see Uber One and Kenobi and uh, Anakin do that. So much of, uh, actually, it's a bloody damn common troop in many things. Yeah. But basically, really uh, uh, basically the reasoning behind the uh, fake. Oops, that's a lot of cans. Fake behind the false uh, surrender being, well, <clears throat> being uh, outlawed is that 
well, once you've said, once you've shown once that you can't be trusted to actually surrender, that means they're just going to kill people on sight, <laughs> even if they could capture. Yeah, and it's one of those things that's a bit, I have to say, a bit overused. And I think I also uh, wonder if many people that use the attack uh, trick in movies such, if they haven't realized. That it is a crime. Yeah, it could be, or they just do it because, well, the, the opposition is a uh, uh, criminal, anyways. Let's see. Where are On we going to find some conduct bloody... as we speak about this? Yeah. <laughs> it's almost as if the game is listening. Okay. Really? All dry. Oh, that's painful. I think those phosphorus rounds are also pretty painful. <laughs> okay, seriously, where are some explosives blowing up that gate? We do need it open. If we can get a snowmobile out, if we are to get a snowmobile out. Oh no. Oh no. My imagination struck again. No. Yeah. I just imagine the Gordon SMG is shouting as Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> this goes then. <laughs> Basically, yeah, that's one example. Just, yeah, just a very oh. angry gun. There's the explosives. Oh no. I'm guessing we should have been able to find those before uh, in, whilst we were going through this first time. But yeah. It's just the game going easy on us. There we go. What the heck? Hmm? The ice cream truck is on out and about again. In the dark. Uh, okay. Uh, get back to the plane, yes. Uh, how do we open? Is there a switch or something in there that we missed? Kind of a stupid thing if we're getting blocked by just a normal metal gate. What the heck is this for them thing? Is it down our street for the first time? I think I heard it there for a bit. Uh, I need to acquire that I stood up. <laughs> yeah, I think you heard it as I spoke. Yeah. So this is when Mike ignores it. Yeah. Just a stupid little fence and gate is stopping us now after we blew our way out of here. Is there a button I missed somewhere for that? Just nothing in here. You'd think after just blowing our way through the front gate, just like... A little fence wouldn't do anything, but oh well. Here we are. <laughs> How about just taking the truck? Uh, the truck would be too obvious and easy to find uh, to follow. But you can use it oh, to. Uh... I'm being an idiot because uh, what have we been doing a lot? All right. Okay. Luckily, it wasn't too uh, stupid with that. Yeah. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Oh, and we can still play ping pong <laughs> with, the, with the snowmobile. Holy. Oversteered. Uh, phosphorus rounds. Should have expected that. I might get around. 
And I think that's the first health damage we've taken so far. <laughs> I think you might be right. Also, again, if I, I ever visit Netherlands, I'm gonna be bloody nervous whenever you would be the one driving. <laughs> Not to the point I'd rather take the taxi. Just in case. No. Look out. Are we going to get our armor depleted for the first time here? Let's grab that and grab that. Bye bye. <laughs> Just wedge it through. See ya. Is that? Oops. Uh, that was supposed to go off after we were crossed it. Uh, Wait, we can't cross it still. You made a ramp. Uh, okay, I was I was thinking we would have to use a snow ramp. Yep, <laughs> very obvious save from the game itself. <laughs> okay, that's gonna okay. do it there. And we get an auto save after flying over it. Okay, yeah, let's put a stop to that quickly. Uh oh. And this time, let's pull out the freaking AK 47 at the start instead of just a light. <laughs> Bye bye. I'm hoping oh I'm seeing there's a soft time limit to this that like that they will find them eventually. <laughs> that was a bit badass, I'll fully admit. Vodka gives me war. Make me Good. coffee. I'll be fine. Really? <laughs> he just got fucking drunk. Oh, hello. Dear mother, how are you? It has been long time, yes? How is Connecticut? Uh, I am big time pilot now. Today I flew to Siberia on secret mission. Job is dangerous, but I get paid good money. You are getting checks, yes? It makes me happy. Love, Misha. Okay, that would be cute if it wasn't for the fact that we getting <laughs> We need to get the fuck out. Yeah, I get to and that, also, Misha. Also, I don't think he should be writing secret mission. Yo yo. <laughs> really? And, ooh, oh. we got a lot of points now. Yep, we can upgrade something again. I'm just keeping an eye out for any other jackasses around. He actually went to get coffee. I don't think that's just going to sober you up directly like that. Would that actually make things worse? I'm not sure. For now, though, we are going to make someone's day worse. If we can get a shot in. Okay, time to play explosive expert. Don't blow up your own... Oh, okay. Okay. Come on. Plenty of time, but still. Sorry. What did he do? We're getting drunk, I presume. Okay. That's very important. Uh, what is this now? No. Wait, is that the fucking rocket launcher? Manhandler. Man what? That makes 14, Mr. Volkov. Do you feel better yet? A little. Let's do one more. 
Bring in Laramie. Please, don't do this. <laughs> I beg you. Feed him into the machine. Oh. Okay. What the? I'm still upset. Bring in Mackenzie. Mother, we've been over this a thousand times. I'm not coming home for Christmas. You want to kill me like you killed your father. Mummy, Daddy died of dysentery in Kenya. He died of a broken heart because you never amounted to anything. When I think of the sacrifices we made... Goodbye, Mother. Don't you hang up... Marvin, be a good chap and fetch me a little drinky-poo, would you? Steal that Holy stupid glass. I was disappointed to learn that Kate Archer is still alive. Then let him kill her. Don't be impertinent. She's not my enemy. She's my enemy, and you're my retainer. Or have you forgotten who saved your life all those years ago? Don't tell me you're afraid of her. I fear no one. Then kill her. And bring back proof this time. Her head on a platter should suffice. We were hoping for something a little more conclusive. What do you know about this harm organization? We've had dealings with them before. They were barely competent at the time. Rumor has it they've restructured the organization since then, but nobody's quite sure what that means exactly. Barely competent. Hard enough. If nothing else, we've established that Project Omega is Harm's brainchild, even if we still don't know exactly what it is. That proposal we found was dated 1965. And? That means it was well underway during the Harm incident last year. We've already scoured the North American facility where they were keeping Dr. Schenker. There's no mention of Project Omega in the files we recovered. Sadly, the Alpine facility was completely demolished. There's one other place I can think to look. Where? Akron, Ohio. We've searched Goodman's house. Blitzney. Pardon? His name was Melvin Blitzney. Tom Goodman died in Amsterdam, remember? Regardless, our teams have been through the place thoroughly. I haven't. This is a waste of time. We'll see. Well, be careful. I'll bring you a souvenir. Please don't. Okay, I really have to say that some parts of the game are do feel a lot weaker compared to the first one, like the dialogue bits and such. But it's it's ups and downs, sort of. It it's also a lot less of it. Hmm. Yeah, let's be honest. When this game, the first game came out, it was during an era when people had little patience with long dialogues. Uh, yeah, it could have just been that they tried to, well, play to the market, which, well, if you're playing to the market, you're behind the, you're behind whatever's going on, so you're just going to be, well, falling behind even more. Yeah, hopefully they get more dialogue here, though. The first game did very good at fleshing out the characters. Yeah. It's probably not, not as much needed in this one, since we know Kate at this point. Yeah, I'm... It is pretty... Those... <clears throat> The Alpine facility and the where they kept Shanker, those were both levels from the previous game. But one other thing that is bothering me a bit is that they are leaning far, far harder on the parody comedy bits. The, the, stupid, <laughs> the stupid outfits and that thing, the manhandler, I think that was... <laughs> I think it was a lot would have been a lot better if they didn't show how people came out of that. Because uh, people would not be alive in that state. Or at least not for long. Um, you say that, but did, have you forgotten about... Oh, let's see. Monkeys with guns? Uh, let's see. Diary and of a they, Double Agent. Hmm? Uh, I was say, they also talked about sharks with laser sorts in the other game. Yeah. <laughs> and now tiger sharks with nukes, which I'm... Presuming even by the silliness of that this franchise is goes to, even though it is silly, it is can also be really freaking serious. Uh, yeah, just <laughs> tiger sharks with nukes. That just is 
too i think that is even too stupid for this but i'm pretty sure that was supposed to be on purpose bullshit from their so-called agent in mosque agent in the pentagon which i'm pretty sure they didn't have anyways moving on diary of a double agent the house where melvin used to live Without any compelling leads to follow, Kate heads to Akron, Ohio, to search for clues at the former residence of the notorious Melvin Blitzney. Blitzney, a vacuum cleaner salesman by trade, had been groomed to assume the identity of Unity operative Tom Goodman as part of Harm's last despicable plot. He met his end at the hands of his own mentor. Whatever trepidation Kate might feel at entering the domain of this treacherous man must be set aside if she is to achieve her goal. Yeah, to the tell when you were able to interact with an object, text will... Okay. Yeah, they, they do t place more text here, at least. And we can actually look at the intel that we find with the maps and such. Let's see... Some ammo he had left lying around. The Jade Hamster in Kung Fu Spire Fury, <laughs> Monolith Pictures. Because this was made by Monolith Studio. Oh no, I think that there were actually a lot of uh, movies there in Japan and such. We were some of parody of the Spawn and some were just plain inspired. Then of course there were uh, it, the Italian ones that which were apparently famous for trying to uh, Oh, what was it called? Catch in on trends or something? Probably. Let's see. February 28, 1967. Mr. Blisney, or sorry, I say Mr. Goodman. It is imperative that your training be complete by early June. A sublime opportunity has presented itself in Amsterdam. Regards, Mr. X. Okay, find our correspondence. Yep, of course, a vacuum cleaner. In a vacuum cleans and salesman, in a vacuum salesman's home. For what I thought, thought I saw someone there. Also, yeah, I can see why he would jump at the chance to do to do much of any work. Uh, carbon copy, March 6th, 67. Mr. X, I'm still having trouble scoring with chicks. It makes it hard, very hard to feel like a real super spy when girls don't want to talk to me. In a movie, spies always get lots of girls. The situation is affecting my morale. At this rate, I'm not sure I can be ready by June. Urgently, Melvin Blitzney, a.k.a. Tom Goodman. You said girl and he says woman. Yeah, yeah whatever. What? Still sort of correct, just... Yeah, not entirely. Inter interesting way to read. Let's see, another audio tape. Also, if they've gone through this place and missed these tapes and letters, then I question the competence of the Unity agents they sent here. But they were rather short-staffed, and many of the pro ones were dead. Yeah. So it kinda makes sense if they missed. accent. Uh, March 19. Mr. Blitz, uh, the delays are unacceptable. You will be prepared to assume the identity of Tom Goodman on schedule. I need you on the Unity payroll as soon as possible. I hope I made myself perfectly clear. Regards, Mr. Smith. Oh, Mr. Jones was the good one. The, the one that went on a vacation at the start. I think I I got them mixed up in the, the previous stream. Then again, it was silenced. <laughs> Still muting. Another audio tape. Okay, it is starting to get a bit annoying now that this this light keeps turning off. Okay. 
Okay, let's play the other tapes. Banging. That as a way to really make you paranoid. They're yeah, more like uh, making it even clearer that this place is just completely, com completely decrepit. Yeah, no toilet humor here, folks. Sorry. Okay, upstairs this time. More vacuum cleaners, of course. Carbon copy, March 20, 67. Mr. X, or should I say Smith, I'm tiring of hearing about this deadline of yours. If there's one thing I learned from selling vacuum cleaners, it's that you can't rush art. I wouldn't call that art. I will be ready when I'm ready and not a minute sooner. Stick that in your fancy pants. Regards, Tom Goodman. Okay, it's being blocked from the other side. Yeah. Ooh! we got a good amount of XP now. <laughs> Yet more fucking vacuum cleaners. So much for your art, huh? And let's see, how much do we have? 28. Okay. Uh, I don't think we could really need to put it into stealth, seeing as how little stealth we actually <laughs> managed to get through. Uh... Let's upgrade our damage. It will also ensure that when we're actually trying to try, you know, trying to try and be stealthy, uh, it'll be more likely that we can actually kill someone with a stealth headshot. Get another audio tape. A shortcut. <laughs> Fresh batteries and another audio tape. I said it, 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 it does have a nice furniture and all that. Just they may need a little bit of repair. Yeah, I'd say this place has been a, empty for a bit longer than just the two years or so it could have been since the last game or even a single year. Let's see. Listen to me, you prissy little sap. I've had enough, about enough of your posturing. Perhaps you don't appreciate the gravity of the situation, so allow me to spell it out in terms your puerile intellect can grasp. You are being watched constantly. Should you deviate from the plan I have outlined for you, you will disappear without a trace. I will personally supervise your extermi ex extermination to ensure it is excruciating and protracted as possible. Smith. Well, the fucking gloves are off. Hmm. I'm trying to use the lights to keep track of where I have and haven't been. Bandages make sense in here. Get more vacuums! <laughs> this guy really sucks at this job, huh? And that's the boarded up door. Hmm. Okay, let's listen to more of those tapes then. I think we found... Uh, ...wherever we can get to at the moment. I'm I'm presuming it has hints to some hidden area or something. I'm surprised they still have electricity. Volume 3, August 27th, 1965. I've installed my top secret spy headquarters in the basement. I call it my inner sanctum. It is 
Again, I question the competence of the people they sent. Okay, basement. Uh, not this way. Hmm. Really? Wait, you missed that earlier? That is most likely. Yeah. Oh, it just needed batteries. Really? And this is your inner sanctum, more like his man cave. Let's see, take that. Harm to Melvin Blitzney, Tom Goodman, from Dmitry Volkov. You will report to Oslo, Sweden on April 4th, 1967 for harm orientation and mental conditioning. One of my associates, Magnum S. Armstrong, will retrieve you from the airport. He is not different. Uh, he is not difficult to recognize. His more distinctive characteristics include a thick red beard, a kilt, which he wears regardless of the weather, and the pervasive aroma of Scotch whiskey. Uh, whiskey. Wait, wait. I need to say this. Oslo is not in Sweden. <laughs> Oslo is the capital of Norway, and Norway, as far as I know, was already its own country by this point. <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh, you will do as he says. Welcome to harm. Destroy after reading, which he obviously didn't do. And it said something else at the top there. Uh, let's take a look. The leading experts in war domination. Become a super spy in 10 easy steps. Number one bestseller. Groove swinging 60s. And another spy manual. The one he actually was talking about in the one of the notes <clears throat> in one of the recordings. And I'm guessing this is the last correspondence. Unsent original, March 29th, 67. Mr. Sissy, why don't you just go to hell, you dumb, stupid idiot? I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. Die, Goodman. Uh, is that all of that? Uh, I see something you want on the table. Yeah, that's all the correspondence. And... The following top secret material is intended for harm personnel only. To all harm personnel from Anup Bene uh, Banerjee. Uh, date September 2nd, 67, Project Omega. Starting this November, Harm will begin prototyping for a secret weapon venture called Project Omega. We are looking for an experienced, highly organized product, man product manager to head up this effort. If you or anyone you know is interested in working with our top-notch secret and uh, research and development team on this on this exciting project, please contact me by in internal courier at the branch office in Calcutta. Okay. And how to pick up classy chicks by Stefan. Okay, grab the sword. Okay, what are the ninjas doing here? Also, how did you know I was here? Also, just... someone left the lights on everywhere. <laughs> I mean, beyond that. Also, his hidden lair was just hidden behind the garage door. <laughs> Wait, that's the wrong person. That's Jones. Okay, let's get out of here. You won't get out of the wrath of Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> yeah, Gordon SMG C. Uh, 
Okay, now... Front door. Uh, how do we get out of this place now? You're in trouble. Come back here. You've given yourself away. Oh, that way. There's an open door now. O open window now. Okay. Getting all of the ammo. Because those shurikens are pretty useful. Oh yeah, and I kind of hope she will, the, the other Minya will actually join us at some point. We'll see. Like I said, I haven't played this game before. Now we're in ground as well. Okay, yeah. brown ones ninja vanish. <laughs> Oh dear, All of them are ninja vanishing. Oh. Uh, uh. Wait. Could this... I guess we're in tornado country. Yeah, and this could have been uh, related to a tornado that happened in that area. Hey, what is with the ninja poofing? Also, let's get the fuck out. Is this entire place abandoned, or is this place is going to turn into hell for a lot of people? I think it might have been up. Yeah, look, look yourself there. There's a car crash into a flagpole. Uh, Electric pole, pardon, pardon. So okay, I guess now we're really they, just down to the shuriken. I guess they figured that the... Uh, might as well use this location for our spy games as it was evacuated when the storm came. Good chance of... Uh, through here, come on. Give me that, give me that. It, actually, I figured that that's kind of smart, smart use. Uh, through here. Nope. Just a scratch to fix. And now we're just back here. Uh, I hope that isn't a time limit that that thing is putting on us here. Oh, it is. So what is with them just ninja vanishing? Where I, I think the, I think they might have put that in, in if we managed to knock them out that they don't get killed in the tornado. What's our meat kit there? Oh, there you go. Okay, ninjas in a trailer park during a tornado. Uh, okay, so I could get a quick moment to search them. Give me that. Okay, where's the rest of you? There you are. Almost out. Keep an eye on the tornado so we don't get sucked up into things. Last. Oop. Last clip. And stuff is starting to get destroyed. No, you don't. Okay, yeah, I think it's starting to affect how quickly we can move.
to meet that. The mobile home advantage. Tired of seeing the same scenery year after year? A mobile home could be the answer. From what I've heard, it's also a good way to just bury yourself in depth. Even more bloody ninjas. Wait, oh. I don't have an idea what might happen. Ooh, let's let get crushed underneath that. Yeah, fury, fear time. What if we're gonna end up saving her and she gets indebted to us instead? Maybe. Uh, that or she is going to find out that her next employment is going to suck even more. If she lives this, <laughs> if she lives long enough. I have a feeling like Kate is probably a better one, and that would honor her. Yeah, I meant more than getting sucked up into the tornado. Oh. Nope, oh, repeat Isako. Yeah, she just has a straight-up boss health bar. Uh, do I really have no other ammo left? Okay, taking on a ninja <laughs> with only a katana. Okay, deal with the father. Get whatever shurikens I can find. There you are. Oh, come on. We don't have the time for this, quite literally. Though it seems to be passing by instead of heading straight over us. Is there, it still can flung, you see you overhead. It can still fling stuff around. Yeah. We all saw a car with several impalements. Come back here, you. Are you taking cover? I'll see we're taking that. Uh, you were saying? Okay, now we're literally in the volcano, <laughs> not volcano, the tornado. Volcano tornado. Stop us flying around in here. I'm not going to fuck outside. Where are you? There you are. Give me that. Okay, this thing is getting peeled apart like a freaking banana. What the heck do you pee bananas? <laughs> I Not say... as violently as this. <laughs> I would say it's getting ripped apart as a birthday gift. Or a Christmas gift. Hey, Isaka, you better have some ninja bullshit to get us both out of this. If you survive this, that is. Then I'm not sure what would be more impressive with Kate. Her managing to get out of this alive? Or to getting flung out of an airplane without a parachute bit? Ooh, that's a good question. There we go. Now, if we live to survive this, we can upgrade something. <laughs> really? <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's hope whatever we, we fall into is full of hate. We, really? Oh. Back into the hospital oh, bed. Good, you're awake. I feel dizzy. Nothing a week's worth of rest won't clear up. I don't have time for that. I have to find Armstrong. I must insist. Don't get Scotsman, really. Oh, hello, Kate. Armstrong. How do you find me? Oh, that's right. You're a spy. Having a tough go of it. Well, it's eleven against one. Excuse me a moment. That's the spirit, lad. <laughs> Make that twelve. I didn't see the one in the corner. What a minute. Take your time. 
Oh, there he came. Is he supposed to switch between Scottish and British? Now I think his voice actor changed. Or maybe. Maybe. Oh, the show, but is he? Go on. Maybe he's laying it on less thick this time. But, yeah, the, the cutscenes are a bit jumpy, which is also a bit annoying me. Now, what can I do for you? I need your help. Uh, I don't know. I've pretty much washed my hands of international intrigue. You owe me. Ah, oh, don't start. All we're asking is that you help Kate infiltrate the India branch. Well, I suppose I could make a few calls, but don't expect me to get involved. Yeah, different Come voice on. actor. Magnus, I'm coming to India. Uh. Yeah, who the fuck? I have an appointment with Monsieur Volkov. Excuse me? I was sent for by Dimitri Volkov. I'm sorry, can you speak up? Take me to Volkov, now! Okay. <laughs> Who is this French, uh... Oh, Motel Lava, very nice. Who is... <laughs> Wait here, please. <laughs> Sir, the assassin has arrived. Send him in. Oh, the seal salutes. I just want to say, Monsieur, that it is an honor to stand in the presence of the legendary Dmitri Volkov. You are, without a doubt, the uh, Michelangelo of murder. Well, that's very kind of you. Monsieur Volkov, tell me who did this to you, and I shall exact terrible vengeance. It was a skiing accident. Oh, I see. Now then. But what? You're probably wondering why I summoned one of the world's most dangerous contract killers on such short notice. Because you want me to kill someone? Not just someone. I want you to kill Kate Archer. I think he probably just said that only to save whatever little pride is left unbroken. Oh dear. But how the fuck did Kate get out of that alive? I'm presuming she got flung out and landed somewhere, but still, I... Uh, yeah, the, the one thing I also bit, dislike a bit is just how jumpy some of the cutscenes are. Yeah. But, yeah. Moving on. Double cross. The password. Magnus Armstrong has contacted his old friend Kamal, a dissolutioned harm operative in India, who promises his assistance. Uh, while Kamal isn't familiar with Project Omega, he's certain any pertinent information can be found in the central vault at, at the Indian headquarters. Bruno has concluded that the direct infiltration of the compound is too risky given the intense security Kate would likely face. Therefore, Kamal will help her accomplish perhaps her strangest objective thus far, to get a job with harm. Once hired, she'll have the security clearance necessary to move about the compound freely. Okay, yep. <laughs> If you find yourself what? backed into a corner and unable to fight back, rely on your trusty banana to slip past. I think uh, some of the things are more useful in harder difficulties. Maybe. How do I convince them to hire me? Demonstrate your value to them. Maybe they need a maid. Maybe you need your ass kicked. We're being watched. Right. I'll stay here. You grab him and find out what he's after. My pleasure. Is that... Is that the same one from the last game? Yeah, I would not be surprised. You? Kemal sent me to meet you. Why didn't you introduce yourself? I thought I was being followed. Kamal is waiting for you at the... <laughs> Well, you were followed. Yep. There he goes again like a freaking Dalek. I said grab him, not stab him. He was about to tell me where to meet Kamal. Not a problem. Kamal said he'd wear a pink carnation so you'd recognize him. Me? I can't afford to be seen. You dare! Right, I'll handle this. You look for Kamal. How will I find you? It's not like I blend in. 
It's a safe bet the police will be looking for you now that they think you killed Kamal's associate. Stay out of their way. Okay, but with that, we have hit two hours. So, uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, wait, wait. The, as you see, we have two new followers. Like, Sentai Telephone, that makes sense. Uh, oh, wait, that's his raid. raid. Uh, and Carb, Carb 90. Uh, oh. uh, Thank uh, you for the follow. I didn't hear the ping, and I think I saw that before before the stream, but just forgot to bring it up. Uh, so, yeah, let's see. The password, okay. Save is secure. And there we go. So, yeah, as usual, let's go look for someone to raid. But in the meantime, thank you for the follow, Cobb90. And let's see. Da -da -da -da. I forgot I moved that over there. So once again, Rakir gets flashbanged. At this point, I'm not sure if he, start, he might start to think I'm doing that on purpose. Okay. Uh, not many people I that I follow on at the moment. There's uh, Whiskey Project, who is streaming RimWorld, and then there's Paxicle, streaming Satisfactory again. I've been busy with that game myself, trying a different strategy than I did last time, where I basically just built when anything I needed when I needed it, instead of just planning ahead with things. Uh, let's see, we have Wolf Machina, who is streaming Warhammer. It just says Warhammer. Let's take a quick peek. Uh, oh, he's yeah. made, he's painting models. Let's okay, see. That's then we... cute. And I can't see anything. I only see us two. Yeah, give me a moment to switch this over. Uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. Twitch, there we go. Let's see. Kirine is streaming Tactics Ogre Reborn. Then we have uh, Desert Boss. Let's not. <laughs> and there's Dinacol, so I have to rush a bit. Uh, we have Eric. Araxi Dystopia, who is streaming Amnesia the Dark Descent. Iggy Maid is online with Old School RuneScape. Then we have Tayo Hajio, Hachio, I guess right. Uh, Mary Skelter Night Mary Skelter Nightmares. Can't say I've heard of that. And let's see, that's about it. There's also Paladin Lord 10, Yakuza Like a Dragon. Can't say I've heard of that either. So, who shall we raid then? Uh, Mary Skelter? Mary Skelter or Karenai? Okay, let's have a look here. It, oh, it looks to be a dungeon crawler. Okay. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. Yeah, let's give let's give this a look. Uh, I've been playing uh, Persona Q recently when I find the time, which is basically the, the it's basically Persona meets uh, Etrian Odyssey, and it is pretty fun. It has been a long as well since I played that though, so uh, yeah, I kind of lost track of everything that happened. Okay, slash raid paste, and uh, yeah. Uh, that went pretty well. The, the game is showing a bit of its rougher edges, or maybe I'm just nostalgic. I just have nostalgic glasses for the first game. But yeah, uh, it's still not uh, bad. Yeah, they, they did a lot of improvements. Do I feel like, like the story may have taken a little bit tit? Yeah, the personality has been, lost some of its shine yeah, for it. But yeah. Uh, Let's see, tomorrow I won't be able to stream. The day after, probably not an early stream, but probably a late stream still. And then again, the next day, I believe. So, uh, yeah, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Uh, thank you again for the follow. And, uh, yeah, as always, thank you as well, Vic here. You're welcome as always, my friend. So, yeah, uh, it's Thursday, Wednesday, more No One Lives Forever. And... Uh, yeah, we'll see what after that, when we get to that. So, yeah. Okay, almost someone tripping outside. Uh, thanks again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day. And until then... Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm messing those things up again. Uh, until next time, everyone. Be safe, everyone. I watched out for seagulls.